I am Matthias. In this lesson, we're going to go over some basic arpeggio patterns that you can use in your playing. If you find this lesson too advanced, I have a series of arpeggio lessons available that start with the very basics. These are all three string arpeggios, and we'll be playing different inversions along with pull offs and multiple time signatures to give you something fun to practice. These can be divided into two parts, with the first in 4 4 time and the second in 3 4 time. Let's look at the first part. To begin the A minor arpeggio, I'm going to have my index finger at the 5th fret, but the first note that we're starting with is going to be on the 4th string at the 7th fret with my 3rd finger. So I'm going to start there, and then my index finger is going to roll from strings 3 to 2. This is at the 5th fret to get the first arpeggio. Now this is a triplet pattern that I'm playing ascending and descending. So after I play the ascending part, I'm going to repeat that top note and then come back down. So you want to make sure that that index finger is rolling from strings 3 to 2. If it's on the tip, from the third string, you don't want to pick it up and then put it on the tip on the second string. You're not going to get a clean arpeggio right there. You've got to make it roll. And the more staccato you can make these, the cleaner it's going to sound. Okay, so then the next part of this A minor arpeggio I'm going to stay in the same position, but I'm just going to roll my index finger across the top three strings. Still at the fifth fret on strings three, two, and one. Same exact picking pattern again. Down, 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 up, up, up. And if you notice, if I play that entire chord across those four strings right there, well, I'm going to get an A minor chord. I'm simply just breaking it up into triplet patterns. So it's a three note arpeggio pattern, or excuse me, three string arpeggio pattern, still three note. And I'm simply moving from the fourth string to the second string, and then the third string to the first string. And that's the A minor in the fifth position. The next part of this A minor sequence, I'm going to shift up to the ninth fret on the third string with my second finger. My third finger is going to be on the second string at the tenth fret, and my first finger is going to be on the first string at the eighth fret. Now, if you think about your first position open chords, this is, of course, your D minor shape. And so the pattern is uh, just like the other ones, this is on the top three strings three downstrokes, three upstrokes. And what I'm doing here as I change each arpeggio, I'm still playing an A minor chord, but I'm changing the inversion. Because if you notice what I started with here at the seventh fret, uh, if you don't know your notes yet, uh, get a copy of my book and that'll help you out. But uh, in any case, right here, that note that I'm starting with is an A. On the next A minor arpeggio, I'm starting with a C. And then here, I'm starting with an E. Those three notes, A, C, E, make up an A minor arpeggio. And what I'm doing is I'm playing triplet patterns through different inversions of this arpeggio. And then the last one, I'm going to shift up to the 14th fret on the third string. This will be with my third finger. My second finger is going to be on the second string at the 13th fret. And my first finger is going to be on the first string at the 12th fret. Same picking pattern. Except that we're only going to play the triplet one time and we want to get uh, the downbeat with that high E right there on the upstroke. So here's how it sounds nice and slow all together.
And it's very important as you go through that, make sure your right hand just stays very, very relaxed. You don't, you don't want uh, any tension creeping in. As soon as you start to feel tension, you're playing too fast. So just take that nice and slow. Okay, let's take a look at the C major arpeggio. For C major, we're going to be starting at the fifth fret again, rolling with the index finger from strings four to three to two. That's our first one. Okay, we're then going to shift up we're going to take our third finger, that's going to be on the fourth string at the tenth fret. Second finger is going to be on the third string at the ninth fret. And first finger is going to be on the second string at the eighth fret. Still a triplet pattern, three down, three up. And while I'm in this position, I'm going to continue with that pattern, then on the top three strings. So this will be second finger, and then I'm going to roll my first finger across strings two and one. Again, just as before, very important to not pick up that first finger. You just want to roll, just get it nice and smooth. Okay, then the last one, I'm gonna shift up to the 12th fret on the third string with my index finger. My second finger is going to be on the 13th fret of the second string. And then after that note, my index finger is going to slide over and get the high E right here, the 12th fret of the first string. And then lastly, getting the 15th fret here for a high G. So I've got my triplet, and then an upstroke right there to get the high G. So nice and slow, here's how all of that goes. Now let's take a look at the B-flat arpeggio. For B-flat, we're going to start with our third finger. This will be on the eighth fret of the fourth string, and it's going to be the same shape as we played the C major, which was right here. So same pattern in the right hand, same triplet pattern, three down, three up. That's on strings four, three, and two. And then same thing, going strings three, two, and one, I'm gonna roll that index finger. Okay, then I'm going to shift up. This is going to be at the 10th fret on the third string with my index finger. I'm going to then have my second finger at the 11th fret on the second string, and then I'll slide that index finger right on over to the 10th fret on the first string. And then the next one, I'm going to shift up to the 15th fret right here with my index finger. And I'm going to roll those first two notes right there. So I don't want to be on the tip on the third and the second. I'm just going to roll. And then with my fourth finger, or if it's more comfortable to use your third finger in this case, because the fret spacing is very close together, that's fine. but I'm going to then get the 18th fret right there on the second string. And then the 18th fret on the first string. So this is not a straight sweep. This is going to be a downstroke, downstroke, upstroke, downstroke. So we've got alternating because we have two notes on the same string. And 
the, uh, the B flat arpeggio then all together nice and slow goes something like this. Now we'll go into the 3-4 section. The first arpeggio that we're outlining once we've changed time signatures is going to be an F major chord. And the pattern for uh, almost all of these in this section is I'm going to start on the first string uh, with an upstroke. In this case, uh, for the F major arpeggio, I'm using my fourth finger. Uh, you can, of course, use your third finger uh, since the uh, frets are really close together right there. But I'm using my fourth finger right here at the 17th fret, starting with an upstroke. And then I'm doing a pull off to the 13th fret on the first string. I'm then rolling to the 13th fret on the second string. And then my second finger is getting the 14th fret on the third string. Now what's different about these as opposed to the triplet pattern is I'm not repeating uh, the low note or the high note. I'm not, I'm not hitting that twice. So you want to think of this as one and two and three and. And so you'll play that entire pattern twice. Okay, then the next one is going to be a C major arpeggio. I'm backing up uh, to the 15th fret, uh, still on the first string right here. So 15, pulling off to 12. Then 13th fret on the second string, 12th fret on the third string. Okay, still backing up, I'm going to outline a D minor arpeggio. I'm going to start at the 13th fret of the first string, pulling off to the 10th fret on the first string. And what you have to be careful right there, which is what I just did, was I buzzed a couple of strings. So you've got to roll that index finger. And notice I didn't start with it on the tip right there. Because if I start with it on the tip, then I can't get it over to strings two and three. I've got to start with it on the side. It's like you're preparing to do a bar, and then you're just rolling through that. So starting right here, and then rolling. Just rolling through that right there, okay? Then after the D minor, then I'm going to outline an A minor arpeggio. This one's got a little bit of a stretch. I'm starting at the 12th fret on the first string, and I'm going to pull off to the 8th fret. Then my second finger is going to be at the 10th fret on the second string, and then my index finger is going to come over to the third string at the 9th fret. This pattern's a little bit tricky because we've got to move from the 8th fret to the 9th fret. So it's not just a, a roll, we actually have to shift right there. Okay, so that one right there can take a little bit of getting used to. Okay, then after the A minor arpeggio, I'm going to back up again and I'm going to play a G major arpeggio. This one, starts at the 10th fret of the first string and I'm going to pull off to the 7th fret. Second finger is going to get the 8th fret on the second string and then my index finger is going to slide over and get the 7th fret on the 3rd string. Okay, then after the G major arpeggio, I'm going to back up to the 5th fret right here with my index finger. That puts my 4th finger right here at the 8th fret, same exact left hand pattern, I'm going to play an F major arpeggio. Now notice we started 
with an F major arpeggio all the way up here. That was, that was a completely different shape than right there. And that's because we're playing it in a different inversion. And inversions are one of the things that uh, make, make uh, playing chords and arpeggios really, really cool when you know how to use them. Okay, then after the uh, F major arpeggio right there, then we're going to stay in the same position, but we're going to shift and play a C major arpeggio, but we're actually going to start this one on the second string. So it's going to be with my fourth finger at the eighth fret of the second string, and I'm going to start it with an upstroke, just as I have been with all these others, and then I'm going to pull off to the fifth fret on the second string, and this is one that I'm going to roll with my index finger across strings four, three, and two. Or since we're playing uh, descending, it's going to go strings two, three, and four like this. And make sure you don't play it sloppy like I just did right there. And then from that C major arpeggio, we're gonna take the exact same shape shift it back to the third fret, and this is going to give us a B flat major arpeggio. The exact same picking pattern and everything. Make sure you get a nice clean pull off right there to the third fret. Come back up to the fifth fret, that puts our fourth finger at the eighth fret right here. That finishes the arpeggio sequence right there, and then I just got a nice little uh, kind of a grace note thing right here. That's on the second string, 7th uh, fret, 8th fret to 7th fret. That's a hammer on and a pull off. And then I'm just going to roll that index finger over, or really in this case it's more of a slide, over to the 7th fret of the 3rd string. Here's how it sounds all together up to speed. Hopefully this lesson will give you some ideas to use in your own playing. Again, if you need some easier exercises, check out my arpeggio lesson package. Arpeggios, along with scales and chords, should be an important part of your playing. Sometimes players think arpeggios are just for metal and shredding, but that's not true. Learning arpeggios is an important part of your musical development. It doesn't matter what instrument you're playing, but they do sound great on guitar. I'm Matthias, now go forth and rock.